Welcome to our third Lightboard video teaching you how to build Blue Sky bots and automate posting to Blue Sky. In this video, we're going to use R2 to store some data that we scraped from the web, and then we're going to hit that. So first we start off with our cron figures, which are very quick to implement in a Cloudflare worker. This will trigger our Cloudflare worker, which houses code containing the Blue Sky code to hit the Blue Sky API. And we also have workers AI to generate the post. And then we will post to Blue Sky. And then we're also going to hit R2 to get some data and then send it back. So this is getting more complicated. Here is our workers bot that posts every five minutes. Woo. And it gets data from basketballreference.com. Now, because we're using TypeScript in a Cloudflare worker, we do not have access to the NBA Python package, which lets us easily pull data, real-time data, up-to-date data from the NBA. So what will we do, you ask? We're going to scrape this data using Puppeteer. Here in scrape.js, we have JavaScript to scrape basketballreference.com for a certain team, in this case, the Golden State Warriors, best team, and a certain year, a certain season. We get per game stats and player stats. Games played, games started, minutes per game, field goals per game, field goal attempts, free throw attempts, etc. That is a lot of data. We scrape a lot. We also get game log, so game data. What were their current wins, current losses, the current streak? Are they on a win streak or a lose streak? Hmm. We calculate defensive rebounds, team stats, team three point percentage, opponent stats. Very interesting, very interesting. Uh, scrape the last 20 seasons, and then we save that to this JSON file. Oh, look, Steven Jackson, Stephen Curry. He was 21? Oh, that was a while ago. Curry. Curry, 23. He keeps on going up in age because he's been playing so long. That is so cool. So much data. So we have this JSON file, and then we upload it to R2. So we can quickly, programmatically hit this data and then get a response back. That happens here in index.ts. We have our Blue Sky username and Blue Sky password, AI to use model to sit on workers AI to generate a post, and our R2 bucket, which we connect in oringla.toml. And here are our cron figures to post every five minutes. That's a lot. And our AI binding to use a model. Here's the function to generate random basketball tweet. Should not be a tweet, that should be a post because we post to Blue Sky. Uh, we access, we load the data from gsw.json or my bucket hosted on R2 via Cloudflare. We get a random year. We're gonna get a random data point. Get a random game and then create interesting context about the game. This is where we provide some context, some background to the model to generate a more interesting, fun post to Blue Sky. And we use meta log of 3.2, 3B instruct, log into Blue Sky, create a record, print out that record, and then async scheduled function is our function to post the, um, is our function for a scheduled post via the cron figure, however often that time is. So like every five minutes, you can make that every 10 minutes, once a day, pick a certain time of day. The sky is the limit. That is so much fun. So this runs our cron figure and then we post generate random basketball tweet. Very nice. So 
I can't wait to see what Blue Sky bots and automations you build using Cloudflare workers, Cloudflare workers AI, Crown Triggers, and R2, and the Blue Sky API. So I can't wait to see what you build.